Tonight, we're learning more about William Posh, the airman from Jacksonville Beach killed in a helicopter crash in Iraq. First Coast News Eric Alvarez is live tonight at the Veterans Memorial Wall in downtown Jacksonville with more. Yeah, I'm here at this memorial wall dedicated to area service members who died in active duty. Now, in the next few days, this American flag will fly at half staff in honor of Air Force Master Sergeant William Posh. It's just a, a true standout of a human being and he'll be missed. Matt Duffy is a lifeguard in Jacksonville Beach, just like 36 year old Master Sergeant William Posh whenever he wasn't in his Air Force uniform. And he joined Life Saving Corps in the summer of 1999 and when he wasn't on deployment with the Air Force, he was down here working and training and making the place better. Duffy says as a trainer, Posh whipped new recruits into shape and kept veteran lifeguards at the top of their game. You know, he's the kind of guy that just makes everyone a better version of themselves. On Thursday, Posh and six other airmen, including Staff Sergeant Carl Ennis of Tallahassee, died when their helicopter crashed in western Iraq. Governor Rick Scott calls their loss devastating and says the deaths of these brave men serve as a solemn reminder of the sacrifice and commitment made by our nation's military to secure and protect the freedom we all cherish as Americans. But Posh was more than an airman, a lifeguard, and a mentor. He was an excellent father to his young son. And his son's brother, you want to talk about stepdad of the year, this guy was the most amazing person. He led a life of serving others, and yet Duffy says Posh didn't take himself too seriously. Everyone was Bill's best friend. He was the most hilariously self-deprecating person you'd ever want to meet. In spite of the fact that he looked like a living, breathing comic book hero, he was so down to earth and approachable. It just, you know, he's the ideal human being you'd want to have in your life. Today, this stretch of beach seems a bit emptier. It's a loss when anyone dies, but with Bill, he's just, again, larger than life. But his friends don't need to look too far to see reminders in the sky. Governor Scott asks all Floridians to take a moment to remember Posh and the others who died in the crash while serving their country. Now, details about when flags will be lowered across the state are expected in the next few days. Live at the Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Wall, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News on your side.